Gonzalez again. Um, over the course of time, um, Justin's now been walked through a lot of our processes, procedures, our true form, our certification. He's partnering with us. He's a founder in what we're doing um, to help change and improve overall qualities of life. I wanted to get him on camera again, a second time, just talking about some of the clients that he's now helped and some of the uh, conversations some people have had about shoulder problems, showing them the right way, knee problems, showing them the right way, doctors telling his clients um, that they cannot squat, they cannot deadlift, and him saying, look, we'll, we'll deal with that when you get here because they know how to squat, or he knows how to squat exactly correctly and how to deadlift properly. So, you know, we're not creating an injury, we're not making it worse. And it's very difficult to listen to a doctor tell you what you can't do when he doesn't deadlift the squat. So, so Justin's got, uh, I remember last week, first story is, is a guy talking about a shoulder. He had a shoulder problem, shoulders in pain. What did you do to help fix that? Uh, I first asked him what was hurting and then I asked him his form. Uh, I had him show me his proper technique that he thought was proper. Uh, and then he all of a sudden went straight out wide and right there. And there, you know, it was wrong, so we just switched it up right in front of us, brought it up, didn't feel any shoulder pain anymore, so it was easy just like that. Okay, so to, to, let's, let's be a little bit more specific here. When showing somebody true form, you have to take a look at what they're doing wrong. And the thing is, is just how long you've been training? Uh, man, 2005, 11 years. 11 years he's been training, and I always try to find a, a, a right way to say this, but objectively, the form that you've been taught is exactly wrong. Yes or no? Correct. One of the bench forms, Justin and I kind of went back and forth about, we didn't go back and forth. He tried the way that I do it and it just felt better. Correct. Was that the bar, when you talk about your CSCS standard when benching, comes down to your nipples. Yep. When it comes down to your nipples, you, over, you end up overstressing your shoulder and elbow and you're in pain. Yep. Justin and I go upwards to 400 pounds and we have videos and proof of that. If you put 400 pounds on your, your shoulders, which is our secondary muscle, they're going to hurt, ache, be in some type of pain. Yep. Your elbow, same thing, it's a joint. You can't grow your joints, right? So, in this, if you don't understand hand placement, elbow placement, elbow movement, why your elbows don't move, what's right, what's exactly wrong, um, then you probably create an injury, and that's our goal here. So, another story was uh, a woman who's had how many surgeries on her knees? Uh, 60, she's 60, or she's 56 years old, and she's had 20 knee surgeries. Uh, she gave up on herself, the doctor told her not to do squats, not to do anything with her lower back. Um, her daughter came to me and I told her daughter, come in for a session, we'll show exactly everything that you do. Not good? Lights off. Lights off? Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> it's okay, man. We're like, it was good when it